Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and we're doing best to worst updates and revisions. Woohoo! Another best to worst. I know a lot of people uh, like this like the series and wanted me to do more of them. So they're going to be doing more of them and then I'm not going to be doing them because I'm, I'm going to be doing this going over the list and correcting them that I've done earlier and seeing how they hold up four to five months later. Um, I don't know. This is probably going to be two parts. Uh, we'll see as I record, but I'm not going to be doing any other best tours after this, like for multiplayer, unless someone has a really, really good idea. And I've already seen a bunch of ideas, but nothing really interests me. The only one that I can think of me doing right now is DLC maps like months from now after they're all out. But that's I'm not going to be doing multiplayer best tours, but I am going to be starting up best tours zombies pretty soon. So you can look forward to that. But for the best tours updates and revisions, we're for sure going to be looking at the all the primary weapons for this video today. Day. And this is going to be a follow-up video to all the previous best to worst. So I'm assuming you've watched them and you've, you've seen all the lists before. We're going to be comparing and contrasting like that. And if you're coming from a specific best to worst video or just want to see certain revised lists, I have the time codes of each of the weapon classes down below in the description so you can go check those out. Uh, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's start off with a controversial one and end with a controversial one. So we're going to start off with the assault rifles. I'm not going to try to talk about each of the weapon for sake of time. So like the list will be on the screen, but it's funny. Uh, the assault rifle. It's funny looking at the comments. You know, I specifically said it's my opinion. Uh, you know, I said it's hard to list because each of them are all so good. Same with the SMGs. Uh, I, <laughs> see, looking back, it's funny, but the game's pretty well balanced to me now. So the w list is even harder to develop, and the list is always changing. They're like actually shouldn't even be a list for assault rifles and SMGs, really, in my opinion. Um, but since the previous list. Some things have changed. KN44 was pretty much at the bottom of the list. It's straight up to the top. It's actually a great weapon. I like it a lot. Very solid as the buffs it got. M8A7 is still great. Still number two on my list. Better than the XR2 in my opinion. Personal preference. But I'm going to put the M8A7 and the XR2 at the same rank. Maybe 2 and 2.5. Just to please you passionate viewers out there that are so passionate about your weapons. Because they both are pretty much similar in my... like in When you look at them statistically, I just prefer the M8A7. HVK turned out to be a great weapon. I absolutely hated that weapon, but it's a great like SMG type assault rifle. Um, turned out pretty well, and those are like my top three. After that, I don't really know how to rank the rest of these weapons because they're pretty all even, and I like them all. So I kind of just threw them in a rank. I don't know. Man of War is very solid. ICR was really good in the beginning of the game, then it kind of got crappy. Then it's kind of okay now. So I'll throw that at what is that five, and then the Shiva. Is going to be at the worst position because it is really good, but I do have the MX Garand. It is a DLC weapon. I do have it, so I'm going to throw out the list. I'm going to throw it like right below the M87 with the asterisk. Technically, it's at position 3, but it's just going to be sitting right there, kind of like an honorable mention. But the MX Garand is way better than the Shiva. Uh... It has, it's like a skilled weapon, the MX Garand, with the ammo issues. I did a whole video on it separately, but the... Statistically, the MS Garand is better than the Shiva, so I'm putting the Shiva at last on this list. The same reasoning that I put the XR2 at last in the original Black Ops 3 Best to Worst. So that's the list for the assault rifles, the top three slash four, you know, down to the HVK. Those are a bit better than the other assault rifles. I like that ranking right there. But then after that, Man of War ICR Shiva, I mean, it's hard to rank them. They all have specific uses. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. Let's move on to the LMGs. This list is pretty much the same except the Dingo switch places with the Dredge. The Dingo is not the best LMG in my opinion. I've had a class with it pretty much, you know, a month after I did the best towards LMG video. It's like a SMG LMG. It kills very quickly. It's really good. Even when you like, I don't like to put attachments on these weapons while I kind of compare them. But if you put the optic the like Varic site, if you guys don't know, check out how to reduce recoil. There'll be a bunch of videos linked down below in the description. But you put like an optic on like the Varic on this thing, the thing becomes a laser weapon. Really, really good. Dredge, still a beast weapon. Same opinion as the original video. Gorgon's good. BRM still sitting at last because, you know, I just never find myself wanting to use the BRM over the other LMGs. It's like, I never just want to use it. If I'm going to use like an automatic one, I'm using the Dingo. Gorgon, if I want to kind of hold things down. Dredge, just to tear people up. I'd never use the BRM, so why it's that worse on my list i mean that's that shotguns pretty much the same for the top two argus amazing brecci amazing i don't know how you guys like i don't know how you guys don't like the brecci you need to learn how to use it and then i'm putting the haymaker at number three in the krm at last the haymaker received all the buffs i asked for from the original video pretty much it's pretty good right now especially when you put some extra attachments on 
can tear people up. The KRM, I'm gonna throw it at last because the Argus is better in my opinion. It's, the KRM's actually received a lot of buffs since I did the video and I haven't really used it. Uh, I was gonna use it, but I kind of forgot to uh, before I did this ranking. So I'm just gonna throw it at worst. So let's hear it. All you KRM passionate lovers, tell me how my opinion sucks and all that. Um, you know, let me know down below if you agree with that. But either way, you know, the Haymaker is better now and then Argus versus KRM, same thing with the XR2 treatment in the original Assault Rifle videos. Like, the Argus is just a way better version of the KRM if you know how to use it. That's that. Snipers, it's the exact same list pretty much. SVG, Locust, Dracon, PO6. Through the RSA interdiction at last because it is the worst out of all those in my opinion. And I got it. Pretty bad. And, um... That's all the primaries. Let's move on to the, the submachine guns. This is actually going to be the last one for this video, and then I'll do the others in the next video. But, you know, submachine guns, like I said in the original video, they're all amazing for the most part. They're all so good. This list has changed so much. They've received so many buffs and nerfs. It's just hard to rank these things. And people, you know, I put the VMP at last, and people are like, oh, how dare you do that? And I'm like, all right, you know what? I, uh, the VMP is kind of good. And then I made like a follow up video with the remaining first try, or the following first try Fridays, but people really didn't watch that. As I said, like, oh, the VMP is actually not that bad, but people still commenting on that because that's YouTube and anything. But this is my list for submachine guns right now. The CUDA, I believe I put that at like fifth on my list. I don't know how I did that. The CUDA is so good. I just, I used it, um, like I was going for challenges and things. I couldn't put any attachments on my gun. CUDA is what I use because it's so good by itself without any attachments. It's just a very solid submachine gun. I love it. It's the best submachine gun in my opinion. Best. And then the next three slots, two, three, four. It's kind of a tie between these three SMGs. I really don't know how to rank them, but for ranking wise, I'm putting Pharaoh, VMP, and then Vesper. The Pharaoh is still a solid SMG. Like, you can use it again without any attachments and still do really well. It's good at all ranges. It one bursts people really quickly. I mean,. It's really good, and for that reason, that's why I kind of put it at number two on this list, because it's just good all around. The VMP, putting right above the Vesper, because the VMP is pretty good. Like I said in my follow-up video, people are going to be so happy right now, be like, oh, blah, blah, whatever. VMP is at number three, it's pretty good. Vesper is right below it. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to put above for this video, the Vesper or the VMP, but the Vesper got, was so good at the beginning of the game, then it got a nerf. It was so bad, probably worst weapon in the game. And then it got buffed again. And now it's pretty good. You had some attachments. You guys missed my class setup video for the Vesper. It becomes awesome. And it's pretty usable now, so I'm going to put it at 4. Then Weevil at number 5. Meh. Razorback still at 6. It got buffed, but that thing still sucks as an SMG. So that's my list. My revisions for all the primaries as of right now. Next time we're going to be doing the secondaries, the specialist weapons and abilities. Got a lot of change-ups with those. Um, probably do the score streaks too. Some of those got buffs and nerfs, so that list kind of changed a little bit. And then we'll touch on perks. Really nothing changed with perks, but that's the plan for part two of the updates and revisions. I'm going to be skipping the camos, game modes, and maps because those don't really, like, they're extra stuff. Extra videos for the fans, so whatever. That's my best to worst list revisions for the primaries. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Comments. If you agree with the updated list, do whatever you want. There's five lists for you guys to go at. So, you know, you guys already know what to do if you're coming back and watching these. And um, with that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Sinister Skater, as always. Be sure to subscribe for Black Ops 3 content if you aren't already. If you aren't already, you probably haven't seen the first best to worst video. You should probably go check all those out. It's pretty good. Um, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.